So today I'm doing a little bit of an impromptu video, you're okay, on how to help your dog when there's thunder. So I didn't expect for there to be thunder today. And Beauty very much doesn't like thunder, do you bud? So she's shaking pretty hard, she's pretty spooked. She doesn't like the fact that there's thunder outside and she didn't, I don't think she realised what it was, she kind of was half asleep on the couch. And she jumped up when she heard it and ran away into here. You're okay. You're okay. So what we're doing now is I've given her a blanket. We're gonna we're gonna hide under the blanket a little while. So Doug sometimes thunder jackets can help. I'm sorry, I don't know why this isn't focusing. Um Thunder jackets are pretty helpful sometimes. They kind of like, they create a pressure all around the dog. So it's like a little jumper. And it can give them the feeling that they're being held, that they're comforted, that they're secure. And that there isn't a big spooky thing happening outside. So I'm trying to mimic that by letting her be in the bed and have the duvet over her. And I'm just petting her. I'm kind of curled around her. You can't see it very well, but I'm curled around her. To try and make her feel a little bit more secure. Well, that's entirely it. We'll just pet and be nice and relaxed. Some dogs, when they get very, very nervous around thunder, people will have, um, they might have, uh, what's it called? Like meds, like medications to calm them down. And I've considered this for beauty before. But we don't get thunder very often here in Ireland. Like we, we, we get lots of rain, but thunder thunder is created when a cold front and a hot front hit each other. And we tend not to have a lot of hot. So it tends to only be near the end of the summer, maybe, when we get these kinds of thundery weather. It's okay. It's alright. The entire bed is shaking right now. She's just really, really nervous. It's alright, buddy. So with some dogs, you can get medications. You can get these tablets or chews or like, a, uh, I think there's ones that are kind of like a worming dose um, in that you put them on top of their food. But I don't have any of those because I was not prepared for this. I didn't know we were going to have thunder today. It was very sunny this morning and now it is <laughs> not. It is very rainy and it is obviously thundering. Uh, so I have to improvise a little bit. We're using a nice dark space, a little bit of comfort and petting, surrounded by a person she knows, sim uh, familiar smells, and we're not near any open windows because open windows are just going to make it louder. And obviously that's not ideal. You're all right, bud. You're okay. You're okay. So during something like this, obviously you're not going to want to put your face too close to your dog because you don't want to intimidate them. You don't want to make them feel worse. You don't want to accidentally get bitten. So I'm not going to go under the blankets with her right now, even though I want to. I feel like, you know, oh, maybe she'd be more comfortable if we were in there together. We could, you know, make a little tent or something. But that's actually not going to help her too much. She's going to just get a little bit spooked that I'm in her personal space. And from her point of view, there's something big and scary outside. There's big ass footsteps. Something's coming for us. You know, it's hunting us down. So right now she's a little bit better off because she's in a bed and she's hiding. But if I'm in there with her, then she might panic. And I don't want her to accidentally injure me or herself trying to escape from something. Good girl. All right. I know. We're a little bit better than we were. And on top of that, I'm just talking constantly. And the talking constantly, and the reason my sentences might be running a little bit and being a little bit strange, is because of the fact that I'm just trying to have a noise in the background so that when the thunder happens, like it's happening right this second, it isn't as sudden and loud. It's more of a background noise because I'm already talking right now. And so she can relax just a little bit because there's already noise happening. And it doesn't have to be something big and spooky and out of nowhere. Like how if someone tries to jump scare you and you're in a quiet place, you're likely to get scared. You're likely to jump and be like, oh no, what was that? It's a very sudden noise. 
If someone tried to jump scare you when you were in the middle of listening to a really loud song and having a great time just chilling with other people, you're very unlikely to get jump scared because there's no atmosphere for it. So if she's sitting here in the quiet and there's sudden thunder, she's going to get a lot more scared than if I'm just sitting here talking for no reason whatsoever, really. I'm not talking about anything. I'm not talking about anything, but I know. So she's still shaking, but she's shaking a little bit less. Just a tad. I know, there's more thunder, but that's okay. It's just noise. It's just air going kablamo. That's all. I know. Um, if I had a crate, I'm actually after ordering one, and I'll do a video on crate training. Um, if I had a crate right now, I'd be putting her in the crate, because that would be her safe space. It would be kind of like her own little den. And I'd put a cover over the crate, like a blanket, or some crates have covers that are fitted to the crates, and it's like a little zip. They're very handy. I'll probably end up getting one of those just cause, because I can. Because where I work, I can order it with the... Uh, with the with the work order so I can get the whole lot of it in the one time which would just be useful um so hello but I know you're all right I know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get her a crate and when she's crate trained if there's ever thunder and especially before fireworks near Halloween, the same thing. She doesn't like either of them. I'll be putting her in her crate. And I will probably before Halloween go to a vet and see is there any kind of calming medications or anything along the lines of CBD oil and such that I can give to her to just help her relax a little bit. Because then she can't be scared. She can dream about, I don't know, stealing chicken from my bin or something. Whatever it is she wants to dream about. Just without being spooked. Without knowing there's fireworks or thunder or anything around the place. Because there's not much that I'm aware of that you can do for training out thunder. Aside from just petting and giving treats and things. But I can't predict when thunder will be. So I can't, uh, I can't prepare very well for it. Because the weather in Ireland is extremely changeable. It's not a case of uh, having like a thunder season per se, but like near the end of the summer, if we've had a hot summer, which this year we have, when it comes into the winter, the winter kind of, we, we, we kind of skip autumn. We go straight from summer to immense rains and then winter. So if winter is coming, which it is, Jon Snow, then... It just gets cold really quick, which results in maybe a couple of days of thunder. Or a couple of days where thunder is possible. And then you won't get thunder for several months. I really like the thunder. I like listening to it. But I can't listen to it when I'm talking non-stop with beauty. So, yeah. It's sad, but it's, 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 it's necessary. It's okay. She's a lot better off than she is now. Than she was before. But you can still see like she is shaking quite a bit. I know, I know. I'm still here. You're fine. You're fine. She's kind of, every couple of seconds, she's getting just little sort of, little waves of shakes. And then she's settling a bit. Whereas originally she heard the first one, she went running in here. And she jumped up on the bed and she ran off the bed and she tried to run away again. She tried to hide. But there's not many places to hide here at the moment. Because uh, I've just moved into this apartment. So there's stuff all over the floor, like boxes of things. And nowhere for her to go. So, I don't even have a coffee table yet. I'm looking to get a coffee table, but I don't have one just yet. I bet if I had one, she'd be under it right now, but I don't have one. So the bed will have to do, bud, won't it? It will. I know. You okay? You're okay. I know. She's pretty adorable, even though she's very spooked. That's okay. Isn't it? Good girl. I think it might have calmed down a bit there now. 
Are we good? She's not shaking anymore. She's panting a good, like a, a bit. She isn't open mouth panting, but she's still doing the breathing. Just with her mouth closed. I know, you're all right. I haven't heard thunder in a little bit. Maybe it's gone, but we don't tend to get thunder for very long periods of time. I know, I'll get you your crate soon, I promise. I swear. I know, good girl. Oh, look. Hide your little foot. Tuck yourself in. Good girl. No, that's some more thunder. That's okay. It's all right. It's not gone just yet, but that's okay. So basically, I'm just going to stay here until the thunder is completely stopped. Whether that's four minutes from now or four hours from now, we'll just have to wait. But I don't have work tomorrow, so if I have to stay up, I have to stay up. It is currently uh, seven. It is five minutes past seven. So we will just relax here a little while. I might get some dog TV for you. Will we get some dog TV? Dog TV can help because it just provides a bit of background noise and it kind of lends to just the normality of life. Where like usually right now I'd be sitting watching something on my laptop because it's my day off. So I tend to sit there and watch something on my laptop for a while. We've already gone to the walk for a walk today. We went to the beach. I'm exhausted. I'd usually be going to bed around... I usually go to bed around 8 and I'm on my phone until anywhere between 9 and 10. Uh, depending on what time I'm in work the next day and what time I have to get up at. So she's used to me being kind of around here at this time. So what I might do is I'll go and I'll grab my laptop. Uh, I'll wait for the next lot of thunder because there's gaps in between the thunder. So next lot of thunder and then when that lot of thunder stops, I'll run and grab my laptop and my charger so I don't have to go back again. A drink and her bowl of water and I'll bring it in here close so we can hide per se in this one room. If I had curtains I'd pull them but I don't have curtains yet because I've just moved in so I don't have a lot of the normal things you would have. You're okay bud. You're alright. And it's basically just entirely comfort and or distract. So with her it'll be mainly comforting because she doesn't do a lot of the normal dog stuff. Like if I throw a toy right now she's not going to care. If I throw a toy on a normal day it's a 50-50 of whether or not she'll follow it. And then if she does follow it it's very unlikely she'll bring it back or pick it up. She'll just follow it because it's something that moved. Um, so she doesn't quite have those playing instincts she's not very curious about certain things so I can't do much about distracting I don't have any meds to help her so it'll be entirely just me comforting her I'll get some little snacks for her and see if we can use food to our advantage there's the next lot of thunder and that's after stopping so I'm gonna run and grab that laptop right so I grabbed my laptop and we were gonna watch some supernatural yes I have a Shrek bed sheet don't judge me, please. And, um, yeah, we were just going to relax and I was going to put on some Supernatural so I have something to watch and she has noise to block out the thunder. And uh, my neighbour's having a shower. So I can hear the... Uh, there's something going on with one of the... Uh, what's the word? The electric shower boxes. And it's really loud when it goes. So this is actually helpful because it's just background noises. It's normal noises that happen every day. She's used to that noise, so if that noise is happening, then everything must be okay, right? It can't, it can't be scary because it, it's, it's just a normal noise that we hear every day. 
So this is actually useful. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch some Supernatural. And um, I'm not showing the screen much, I hope, because I don't want to spoil it if anyone else is going to watch Supernatural. But the thunder has gone now about twice since I started talking. It's going right now. And she doesn't really mind that much because there's the noise from the shower from next door. So it's just, it's helpful. It's good. It's useful. So it's just, it's just a bit of normality. And I brought her, I brought her some snacks. Oop. So she's going to have some little sandwiches. Beauty, would you like some sandwiches? You want some sandwiches? Yeah, you want some sandwiches. Of course you do. And all will be well. It's a sandwich. 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 Sandwiches. Good woman. All the tiny sandwiches. This is about as close as I'm going to get to distracting. <laughs> there's, there's no, you, you ate, there's, there's, there's definitely more. You definitely didn't find them all, did you? You're a damn hoover. You know that? You're a hoover. Now this is as close as I'm going to get to distracting because she's not interested in any sort of toys or anything like that. So it's not going to, I'm not going to find something else that can distract. So it's feed and comfort. But you can't have too many sandwiches because they're, they're not good for you. you. You can't have all of them, right? We're going we're gonna to save some. We definitely can't have all of them, not the whole packet. But we can have some sandwiches. Because they're very tiny. Good girl. See? She shop, she, she shop shaking. She has stopped shaking entirely, which is good, good, right? Good woman, right? And we're, we're relaxing a little bit, aren't we? You're a good girl. Currently, there's just a load of rain outside and that we can deal with 100%. Right? Good girl. We'll see how we go. So we had thunder on and off for about an hour, an hour and a half, and then heavy rain and wind and such for about three hours. So she was a little bit spooked because whenever the heavy wind happened, she kind of would jump up expecting thunder, even though there was no thunder happening. So she was just kind of on edge for about two to three hours. And then we relaxed after that and she ended up falling asleep. And I was already in bed, so I ended up falling asleep and I missed Minecraft. So my friends, I'm sorry I didn't play Minecraft with you. I was pinned by a dog. Um, and yeah, she, she relaxed eventually. So yeah, just, just super quick recap for the drabbling on that I was doing, I'm sorry, is just find a comfortable place, make it dark if you can, surround with familiar objects, smells and people, and just make sure all windows are closed. Every single time without fail that there is a thunderstorm, there is always 10, 20, 30 different posts the following day of people who are like, has anyone seen my dog? They got out during the thunder and no one knows where they are. And it's just really sad. And if you can avoid it, just keep your animals in. Don't risk it. They need to pee. It's okay. Pee on the floor. You can clean a carpet. You can clean a floor. You can't really just summon your dog back with a bit of cleaning solution. Like it's, it's not possible. So just be responsible. Make sure that you give your dog as much comfort as possible. Make sure you're not putting yourself in danger's way. And get medication from a vet if you can, if you think that your dog might need it. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Sorry for me going on and on and on. I was just trying to get background noise for beauty before I could grab my uh, laptop. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment below and I will do my absolute best to help. Thanks for watching.